Hello and good evening. I'm Henry Dresden with Weasel News. Tonight we cover two stories. Up first, what happens when two clowns get a little upset with how they're treated? Well, they go postal. We send it over to me, who is in the field, speaking with these two individuals. We are very disgruntled. Right, we try ready? to make a delivery to this hair man, and he didn't even give us a tip when we deliver at all hours in the morning. You know how hard a life that is? We delivered 50 parcels to this fella. No tip. Never. And we're doing it at night time? Yeah, and he always looks at Curtis's ass when he's bending over and putting the box down. It's weird, man. It's weird. I'm tired of it. That's not the kind of tip Curtis wants. We want money. Yeah, exactly. And and uh, you, you're you're just voicing your your feelings or? Our concern. Well, I wouldn't say feelings, man. These are concerns. All right. Hey, these are concerns. Other postal workers, you know. Yeah, because you know, I think postal workers are undervalued. Within okay. the entire society, you know, without us, how would y'all get your deliveries? You know, you would have to go and get it by yourselves, which I know everybody in this here society lazy as fuck, and they won't do that. Okay, well. So, we're gonna teach them a lesson, aren't we, Curtis? Yep, we're gonna rob this fella. Oh, yes, we are. Oh, you're about to rob this place. Oh. Yeah, speaking of. Yeah, speaking of. You know, we're gonna get our tips our way. Listen, all right, man. I'm sick and fucking tired of you never. You got all this money in that safe. You got all the money in the right. till in the cash register, and you don't give us even twenty dollars. You don't even give us a bottle of water on a hot day or a little cup of coffee when it's real cold outside, and I don't appreciate it. Doesn't offer all. us anything. Only time he looks up from the phone is to look at my ass when I'm sitting boxing down. After what could be described as a low speed police chase, the postal van took a jump off of one of the overpasses, ending up on its side, leading to the BCSO and LSPD capturing and arresting the two individuals. Not much could be said about this chase, but it was interesting all the same. Back to you in the studio. Well, that was unexpected, but understandable. All right, next up, a wonderful little story about a puppy and a duck. We send it over to... Did you get the documents, Sprout? I did, but there was something else. What are you talking about? It's what? Well, it's a dossier. I read it, Habib. you have any idea what the Americans are doing here with the Kyle Perrican people? Habib. Hand it over. We need to destroy it. But Habib, you can't destroy it. The world needs to know what, what, what they're doing here. They need to leak these to the press. That's treason. But it could end the war. It'll save thousands of lives, Habib. We have to do what's right. We can't let this go on. Sprout. Once the people's back home, see what's happening here? Support for their pointless fighting with the WAPs. I'll get to see my wife again. I'll get to see Barry, Habib. Get to go home. There's nothing left for me back home. War is the only thing that holds me together. It's all I know. We're soldiers. We don't question. We act. But Habib. Don't but Habib me. Hand over the file. Soldiers don't always follow orders. Good soldiers do always follow orders. And I'm giving you an order right now, Sprout. Look, Sprout, just can't let the information get out. You just can't. We have to. It's a moral obligation. We can't let them go on with all this. But Sprout... One of the files is going to have to kill me. Don't make me choose between my country and you. You're like a brother to me. Help 
Barry said I love you. Wow, I think I might go out and adopt one myself. Man. Oh. Thank you for joining us tonight. I've been Henry Dresden with Weasel News, and remember, Weasel's always watching.